Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to start a new tutorial series on Mule 4, which is a most requested series on our channel. And we will be learning Mule 4.3 to be more precise on IDE Anypoint Studio 7.5, which is the latest version as part of this tutorial series. And today is session number one where we will be talking about Mule Enterprise Service Bus and Anypoint Studio which is IDE uh, on system for to develop Mule applications. So Mule is a very light weighted integration technology provided by MuleSoft. It is, it is a Java based enterprise service bus and it uses Anypoint Studio which is Eclipse based IDE so those who are into java development and they are familiar with how the eclipse works it will be very easy for them to grasp the development uh, aspect of mule applications and it uses data weave as a mule expression and transformation language and mule 4 works on data weave 2.0 which is a very developer friendly in my opinion it makes life of developers very easy and on your system on any point seven if there is an embedded runtime engine a lightweighted runtime engine where you can deploy your services and test it manually it also has m unit where you can develop test cases which we will be covering in later part of this tutorial series however what makes mule different than other enterprise service bus technologies like oracle service bus uh, is that it is it emphasizes more on API led connectivity that means we can design develop and main manage API using mule anypoint platform and mule designer and exchange however all those things we will be covering on the later part of this tutorial series as of now we will be focusing on how we can develop a mule application and how we can test it and what are the different connections and modules that we can use as part of mule development so to begin with it first of all you will need to download anypoint studio 7 which is available on mule site for that you just need to go to google and search anypoint studio download as you can see download anypoint studio 7 you click on this first official link which is of mulesoft.com you give the operating system if it's uh, linux mac or windows and you can download the file and once you download it you will be able to see these files as part of mulepoint studio so it's an executive file that you that will be there anypointstudio.exe you can simply run it and your anypoint studio will be up and running so they so once you click on anypointstudio.exe this will be the home screen of your anypoint studio and on the right on the left hand side package explorer where you can create a mule project either from by clicking on this or you can go to files new and mule project or you can press alt shift n that will also take you to the same screen you can give it a name here you can see that that uh, mule server which is runtime uh, is 4.3 you can give it any name as of now so let's just say demo project so now the moment it is created you will be able to see your mule application name on the left side here and by default on the right side you will see a mule palette and where you will be doing the development that is called the mule canvas and at the bottom here we have mule properties like for any connection for e for any event once you highlight that event into your mule canvas you will be able to see the properties of that down below here and console is to check uh, if your service has been deployed or if there are some issues mainly mule has two perspectives one is the design perspective where we are at the moment and one is the debug perspective where if we want to debug the code and to see how why the error is coming or generally we want to see how data is floating we can switch it to the debug perspective from here on the top right corner mule debug and mule design 
and in this mule palette you can see by default we have three modules already there like core http and socket however if you want to add any other module you can click on this add module option here suppose you want to drag and drop the file module from your featured temp palette and you can drag and drop it to your palette section here you see that file is here and all the operations that you can use of this module is available now and on the left side also you can see that file all the necessary jars are loaded into here so as part of this series we will be learning about uh, many modules and many connections and what they do how they can make life easy for the developer and how we can develop new applications how we can deploy it to the cloud hub and many more things however we will go step by step and first we will learn uh, about how we can create a mule application using different connections we will also need to learn about data weave from basics to advanced and we will be covering all of that as part of this tutorial series and in our next session we will be learning about http listener and how we can expose a mule application as a rest service and we will try and create a hello program out of it so thank you so much for your time take good care of yourselves and take care bye bye